Come yet again to yet another home range poultry video. Now, on today's video, I just want to discuss uh, the issues to do with the uh, vaccination. Now, we all know that the vaccination of chicken is extremely important purely because uh, if your chicken are actually not vaccinated, you find that uh, once they become exposed to the disease against which you are vaccinating against them, if those chickens are actually not vaccinated, they have a high chance of actually getting the disease and actually dying from the disease. So you find that most of the common poultry diseases which actually have vaccines and people actually ignore, you find that once these diseases actually hit you, eh, they can actually easily wipe you off uh, your entire flock. Now on today's video, eh, I just want to specifically discuss the vaccination program that is actually followed specifically for Kienyeji chicken or the indigenous chicken and more specifically the curry improved Kienyeji chicken. Now remember different chicken breeds usually have different uh, vaccination program. So the vaccination program that I'm going to discuss today is specifically for the curry improved Kienyeji chicken or the indigenous chicken that we have here in Kenya. So you may find that uh, it may contrast with various other vaccination programs that are issued out there by you know different uh, dealers and suppliers of various breed. That is still accurate. Uh, there's no discrepancy in that uh, you just have to understand that uh, when it comes to vaccination program they do differ uh, depending on the breed that you keep so it's very important before you embark on a particular vaccination program establish and know whether the vaccination program that you have is specifically for the breed of chicken that you keep so having said that eh, so what is vaccination now vaccination can basically be said to be the process of actually injecting the chicken or adding into the body of the chicken eh, a limited amount of uh, disease-causing virus eh, in such small doses eh, that it actually instigates the chicken or the bird or the breed to start actually producing antibodies, which in the event that a full-blown disease checks in and comes to your flock, those antibodies are actually able to fight off that disease. So vaccination has to be understood that it is not really a drug. You have to remember that you have to use the correct vaccine for the correct disease. Each particular disease has its own uh, vaccine. Now, what diseases do we actually vaccinate against? The most common diseases that we actually vaccinate our chicken against are usually the viral diseases because viral diseases, the only way to prevent them is actually by doing vaccination and unfortunately for most viral diseases once your chicken get that viral disease eh, and fortunately there's no cure for it there's just a management uh, procedure which you usually discuss during the training days so vaccination is very important because viral diseases don't have a treatment they only have a prevention and it is what i'm discussing which is uh, the vaccination now the next question comes how often should you actually vaccinate your birds now vaccination of chicken is actually dependent number one on the type of breed uh, number two on the area where you are you find that you may live in areas where some particular disease like for example newcastle are more rampant eh? so you may find that uh, there may be a requirement for you to actually revaccinate your chicken often again it's such a common disease the other consideration that you also make obviously is actually what is recommended what does the uh, primary breed producer of those birds say uh, the vaccination program should be so you follow that vaccination program based on that advice and finally what is the most uh, mode of administration now most vaccines you find that they actually vaccinated through oral uh, meaning that uh, you just mix it in the drinking water for the chicken and uh, the chicken is able to ingest it there are also other 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 vaccines so there are also other vaccines which you find uh, that the mode of administration is, for example, by injection. So the injection could actually be either through the thigh or the breast or sometimes what you usually call subcutaneous. And subcutaneous basically means just under the skin. So it's very important uh, whenever you're choosing the vaccine to also understand what is the mode of administration that is supposed to be done against them. So having discussed that, now let's go deep into the vaccination program. Is the first dosage which is usually done a day old, which we usually call uh, for Marex. Now Marex vaccination is usually done immediately the chicks are hatched. Now the reason is because this disease that is called Marex eh, is actually airborne and uh, you know immediately the chicks actually hatch. They can actually easily get the disease from the air, so the vaccine has to be done the earliest possible. In fact, in advanced hatcheries, eh, the vaccination is actually done before even the chicks hatch through a method that is called the ocular method, where on day 18, when the eggs are being moved from the setter trays and onto the hatching basket, the vaccination is actually done at that point. That means that the chicks are actually going to hatch when they're already actually vaccinated. So... For the Marex uh, vaccine, eh, it's usually done through subcutaneous, like I've just said, and subcutaneous basically means just below the skin. 
From there, you wait up to around 14 days, which is usually around two weeks. Now, this is the first time that you do the first dose for Gumboro. Now, Gumboro vaccination is actually done through oral. So you mix it into the drinking water. And if you actually watch uh, some of the other videos on our YouTube channel, we've already demonstrated how to actually administer a Gumboro vaccination for your chicks. From day 14, you move to day 21, which is at around three weeks. This is the time, again, you do the a first dose for Newcastle disease. Again, this is also administered through oral method or through drinking water. However, there are particular Newcastle uh, vaccines, which you actually need to administer through the eye drop or through the nose drop. So you need to be uh, very keen, especially with uh, Newcastle, because there are very many different brands. And uh, you need to be very particular and uh, aware of the method of administration for that particular vaccine which you actually buy. Moving on, we go to day 24, and this is when you do the second dose of Gumboro. You remember on day 14, we did the first dose of Gumboro. Now we reinforce that uh, Gumboro vaccination or the IBD, and this is done on day 24 when we do the second dose of Gumboro or the IBD. This is also done again through, as I stated, uh, through oral means or by administering or mixing it in the drinking water and giving to the chicks. Moving on, we go to day 45, which is around six weeks of age. At six weeks of age, we administer a vaccine that is called the full pox vaccine. Now, the full pox vaccine is, of course, uh, to prevent uh, your chicken from getting the full pox disease, which is actually uh, quite dangerous. Full pox is actually administered through the wing stub. So there's a special needle that you actually need for you to pick up the vaccine on and inject. And that injection or wing stub is done on the wing. And that is not done on the meat. It's not done on the bone. It's done on the loose skin that is in between at the L. At the L shape, there's usually the loose skin on the wing of the chicken. Eh? That's why you actually do the stabbing. Eh? And the stabbing is also, you need to be aware that it's also done on just one of the wings. So you don't do it on both of the wings. You just choose one side of the wing and you inject it. Now, full pox vaccination is also just done just once at six weeks of age and it's never repeated again. Moving on, we go to eight weeks of age or 60 days. So at this age again, we come and administer the full pox, uh, the full typhoid uh, vaccination. Now, full typhoid vaccination is administered through the an intramuscular injection. Eh? This basically means that the vaccine is actually injected into the muscle of the chicken. Often, you find that the, the injection is done through on the thigh, or some people do prefer to do it on the breast. Uh, personally, I'm, uh, I prefer to do it on the thigh to avoid, you know, injecting, uh, pushing the needle too much and getting into the internal organs. Then again, at that exact same uh, Eight weeks, we do a second dose for Newcastle disease. Remember, like I said, Newcastle disease is quite rampant. It's very serious. So you find that on eight weeks, again, we do a second dose for the Newcastle disease. A third dose for Newcastle is also done. And this is usually done at 18 weeks of age. That's around four and a half months. Uh, this is when the chicken is at around 135 days. Now, this Newcastle disease uh, vaccination, the third dose, it's not really the last one, eh? because even after this age of 14, four and a half uh, months, eh, Newcastle vaccination has to be repeated every two to three months of age. And that's very important for you to remember that as much as you've, you've finished off with this vaccination program that uh, we're illustrating here today, vaccination has to continue for Newcastle and it has to be repeated every two to three months. So if after around two months you realize that you can't remember the last time you did a particular vaccination, it's always advisable for you to do another vaccination for Newcastle disease. Finally, when your chicken gets to about 19 weeks, this is when they are just about to start uh, laying. It's always very good for you to deworm them. Deworming is very critical. In fact, often if you delay deworming, eh, find that the egg production or the egg picking eh, is very low. You find that you, you know, you're collecting very few eggs because ideally, once egg production kicks in, within one or two weeks at most, your egg production should have uh, seriously kicked. Uh, deworming is basically just done with a dewormer. So that is usually done through drinking water, again, oral. So you just mix in drinking water. And deworming is only done once, really, in the lifetime of the chicken, unless, of course, you have a serious worm infestation, in which case, once you talk to a veterinary officer, they will be able to confirm that to you. So, guys, that summarizes the vaccination program that is actually followed for the curry improved Kienyeji chicken. Remember guys, you need to understand about diseases, learn about them, know how to prevent them, know how to manage them in the event that, you know, especially for bacterial diseases once you have them. So don't forget that we do training every single month. Uh, please SMS the word training to our contacts 0727 200 116 or you can also check our website www.homerangepoultry.com 
Please also be always checking our YouTube channel. We have a fantastic YouTube channel. We have very many videos that are up there. Learn from the videos. And always, anytime you have a comment, anytime you have a question, please always post it down on the comment section. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get notified every time new videos are added. And I'm sure these videos are always going to help you be a profitable poultry farmer. Keep watching, guys.